right, welcome back everyone to DETV's Good Morning Wilmington. First up on the plaza, we have the CEO of the Friere Schools Network, along with Kyle Nelson and Cheyenne Reams Bennett. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You guys are, first of all, <laughs> thanks for coming. You guys have been nothing but smiles all morning. Mm -hmm. We're so lucky to be here. No, Thank we're you. We're privileged to have you. Thanks yes. for coming. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, no, we're very fortunate to have you here, all of you here, to talk about the Friere's school so let's talk about it and kellen would you kelly would you like to uh, go right into it sure so i think we're here because of freary charter school wilmington which mm -hmm. is about two blocks from here we serve kids from underserved communities in wilmington and surrounding so christiana mm -hmm. um colonial school district brandywine red clay school district kids come here we're grades 8 through 12. Uh, we have 500 12. kids and we're oh, wow. building a new athletic facility. Oh, nice. So oh. we're here for that. And let me just say, we say free air E, F R E I R E, free air is how you say our name. Yes. Free, how how yeah. was we saying it? Free air. <laughs> free air. Okay. Right? We're saying it right. Yeah. 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 At the yeah. beginning, kids said it all different ways. Yes. But that's the way we live. What's the advantages of going to a charter school? There's been a lot of debate about, you know, mm -hmm. charter school versus public school. A lot of people, when charter schools opened a couple of years ago, they were like, no, no. But it seems like charter schools are like not just on the rise, but mm -hmm. They're helping kids more than ever. Well, I would argue that charter schools solve the equity problem, that oh. we're trying to level the playing field. Okay. Mm -hmm. That we take 500 kids, mainly black and brown kids, and mm -hmm. give them the tools to go to college, to graduate from college, oh, wow. not just high school, but from college too. And our success rate, which I'm sure we'll talk about here in a minute, mm -hmm. is incredible. So for us, we're a small family. Mm -hmm. We believe in diversity. Mm -hmm. Our values set around love and college times, and graduation times two, which is we go to college after we go to high school and we graduate from college. That's what we do. Freire's uh, Schools Network has been around for how many years now? The network has been around for 23 years. 23 years. Correct. And Wilmington, our school in Wilmington opened eight years ago. Eight years ago. I, I had no idea. I had no idea the yeah. school existed and it's right up the street. It's right, right here. Up the street Every from day, the plaza. I think, like, what time you guys get out? Like three ish, two ish, <laughs> two ten. Two ten. You know, okay. the kids. Are the, they always yeah, walking? Yeah, walk oh, by. Yeah, I thought the, okay, very nice, very close too. And yep. 500 students. Wow. Yes, and the vision was to have the school right in the center of Wilmington, like mm -hmm. we have our three campuses in Philadelphia, because our kids need to come from all over Wilmington, yes. but Delaware, but feel like they're members of the city. Mm -hmm. okay. They have access to Understood. government, mm -hmm. business, municipal services, mm -hmm. all those things are right here, and so our kids should be right here too. And that's how it is in other, in other states as well. Mm -hmm. So you have Wilmington, what other locations do you have? We have three other locations in Philadelphia. Just, just Philadelphia? Correct. Okay, okay. awesome. Love excellent, it. All right, let's excellent. get into that success rate. Mm. That's what we. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. Why are you smiling? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the success rate. Right I was here. just gonna say, right, right. Cheyenne, this is all you. The success it's all you, Cheyenne. Why don't you share with us a little bit who you are and tell us about your involvement at the school? So my name is Cheyenne Reeves Bennett. I'm a senior at Freire Charter School, Wilmington. I'm the executive vice president of student government. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me that. Yep. <laughs> 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 and um, I've been accepted into over 10 schools and I have $800,000 worth of scholarship money and grants. Oh. Congratulations. Yes, thank oh. you. That's beautiful. And you're right, a success. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and I'm very, very appreciative that you're here to share your story with so many because it really does paint that picture of the um, the opportunity this school offers mm -hmm. and the support that it offers because that's incredible and congratulations. Thank you. Did you decide yet where you want to go? Um, no, but I have narrowed it down a little bit. So. Can you tell us? Yes. Okay. Um, so I've narrowed it down to DSU, Lincoln, and Livingstone College in North well, Carolina. You, know, you, know. you hear that? You hear that? DSU. So DSU. We need some, uh, DSU all we need day. A, we right. need some. Uh, well, there's a ton of DSU alum mm -hmm. in the building, so okay. we need yes, some. Uh, some University of Delaware no. people here too. Yeah. But, yeah. We love but, them. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we like. We like them a lot. Thank you. you know I mean? But if you need some advice, okay. tons of DSU. Um, alum in the building and they love their hornets. That's right. right? That's right. What, what major? What, what's your uh, sports medicine and business Beautiful. and sports management. Yeah. Excellent. So I want a double major and minor. Okay. All right. So how did Fieri change it? Like change you since you've been there for it? Honestly, Fieri has done nothing but change me for the, change me for the better. I oh. came in ninth grade. Um, you know, I had a rocky preteen, mm -hmm. you know, like every preteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, they just, you know, they brought me in like a family member. Mm -hmm. They made me feel comfortable. They made me feel welcome. And they just taught me and gave me so many resources and, you know, just introduced me to so many people who will help me not only in my college years, but also beyond college. That's I, I used to teach um, 
uh, film at Kumba Charter School. Mm -hmm. And then like years later, I, I went, you know, I go speak at Dell State for media and I see some of the students there. Mm -hmm. And some of the students like, Mr. Ivan, it's so different in high school when you go to college. What advice would you give someone, a freshman at, that's coming into Fieri? Um, what, what advice would you just give them, you would give them? So um, Fieri starts at eighth grade. So coming into Fieri, I think it's awesome how Freire has uh, eighth grade because, you mm. know, the transition from middle school to high school could be really hard yeah. behavioral wise. And then sometimes they might even have setbacks <clears> to <throat> where they didn't learn everything that they needed to learn in eighth grade. So it just gives them the opportunity to, you know, get on the right track to high school, not only but to just make the transition easier to get mm -hmm. to adapt to the environment mm -hmm. of being with people older than them. Right. You know, it could and, you know, it could do so much more for them for their high school years being there a year early right. to learn more things. Love it, love I, it. I do, I do appreciate that you said that, that there's eighth grade, and you're right. Mm -hmm. That transition year from eighth to ninth is so critical. Yeah. And those are the developmental years of a young teen. Mm -hmm. So I, I appreciate you mentioning that and highlighting that. Obviously, you see that it was mm -hmm. very beneficial to you. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. All right, Kyle. Tell us, tell us about your experience at Freire Schools. So my experience has been, it's been a real one, um, you know, trying to change the dynamic of how some of the inner city population, like how they, how they learn and how they have things accessible for them, it's been real. And like right now, where we are now, like to elaborate on what Kelly said, you know, we serve the majority of like brown and, and, and black students. Mm -hmm. um, so the things, I'm the athletic director down there as well. So the things that we have and the gym that they, these kids have had, like to, to have allotted to them, right. I think that this is major. Um, it's not only major just for the kids to come to school and actually learn, but um, it's major for, for our kids to have just opportunity to actually see things like, you know, eighth grade from Cheyenne has actually been here from ninth grade all the way through. So throughout her high school tenure, she hasn't had any, you know, a lot of the kids that are graduating this year, they haven't had these opportunities to have a gym. Mm. Um, so now, you know, the kids that are coming behind them, they have these opportunities right. and I'm, I'm excited for it. So. Well, this is a great segue into speaking about the Longwood Grant, because I'm sure the Longwood Grant is benefiting the school and also the athletic department. Would you like to touch on that, Kelly? Yeah, first, can I just say thank you to the Longwood Foundation. Yes. We got to Delaware in the first place from Philadelphia because of the Longwood Foundation nice. and then Governor Markell as well, mm. the Department of Education. <clears throat> but, Longwood this time has given us a grant of $1.375 million. Ooh, wow. Um, this is our biggest grant from Longwood. Wow. And really, it's amazing the state of Delaware. When Longwood gives money it believe, and it believes in something, then others give too. So the Welfare <laughs> Foundation has also contributed, Laffy McHugh, Wisfus Foundation, um, the Sonecha Family Foundation, and lots of other individual and corporate sponsors. And we've raised $5.1 million so far right now to build an athletic wow. facility That's three cool. blocks from here for our kids. Amazing. I believe that <clears throat> the civil rights issue of our time right now is the inequity of funding that goes to public education right. for our kids. Right. And to be able to build a gym that has a yoga studio, a weight room, volleyball, wow. basketball, finally connected so that kids like Cheyenne, all of our kids can do what they need to do in that gym. Right. When you're stressed, don't you go to the gym? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Right? Our kids need that too. Right. And so finally, so thanks to Longwood and our other contributors, we're finally leveling this playing field, at least at least touching on it yeah. with right. yes. athletics. Because it's not, it's not just about gym, right? It's not just about a facility. It's about that release. It's about kids. Um, and my daughter played basketball for the first time yesterday, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm sitting there, and the way that my brain processes things is totally different than anybody else's. And I'm looking at her, and I'm like, wow, it's teaching her how to be competitive. It's teaching her teamwork. Yes. It's teaching yes. her, you know, mm -hmm. how to blow off steam. And so you can imagine a high school that has all these kids that for years, right, mm -hmm. they haven't had an outlet. Mm -hmm. A lot of schools are taking art out of, out of school, sort mm -hmm. of creativity. They're taking music out of. But with this grant, you're going to not just help yes. a community. You're going to help a community that can learn how to deal with certain exactly. issues. Yes. And that, and, and so I'm going to come back to you on this. Mm -hmm. After you get your degree, what are your plans? Is it to give back? Is it give back to the community? What are your plans? So, um... I want to be a successful businesswoman. Mm -hmm. As you should. Yes. Good. Um, Speak it into existence. And, yeah, mm -hmm. I would like to start programs such as like, you know, like the big brother, big sister programs yeah. that could help teens and youth connect with each other. Because, you know, youth need, you know, teens, not only adults, but they need teens yeah. to help them and yes. that they trust to lead them in the right direction. So I want to start programs like that for our community. 
See, you guys are on the right path. Thing. And, and I think I think that happens for teachers and administrators like yourself mm -hmm. that really give a damn. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not care, but give a damn about our community. Right. Because, I, I mean, I look at Wilmington. I love Wilmington. I'm Wilmington's number one cheerleader. Yes. And just to see the things that we didn't have, the inequities mm -hmm. we didn't mm -hmm. have, and how mm -hmm. people, how we're teaming together from white to black to Hispanic to across the border to, make the, to bring these issues to a forefront and to help in some way. So yes. again, thank you both for doing what you're doing. And Cheyenne, I'm super proud of thank you. you. I'm thank super you. proud of you. I'll tell you what, I got, when you get to Dell State, <laughs> let me know. Just so you know, he right. decided for I, you. I, got, I have a $250 scholarship for you um, from, oh, from oh. DETV. So thank when, you, you. when you're there, we'll, we'll definitely give you a scholarship for $250. From thank DETV. you. All right. <laughs> and this is the future. Right? Yeah, this yeah. is the future. Yeah, your point. Like, I thought Whitney was lying. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. No, Whitney was not lying. <laughs> All right. Well, is there was there anything else that you wanted to share that we didn't touch on? Like, if there is there a need right now? I know that you obviously are satisfying these needs by building an athletic department. So when is the completion of it? Is there a deadline or date? We're expecting, we're expecting by early January. Okay, that's that's quick. This right. Because yes. this is a big yes. project. Right? This is so not the a basketball one. season will be. We'll count, you can tell. But won't, oh, we won't get basketball season. You, you, basketball you're gonna have basketball. Uh, basketball yeah, so, team. So we have oh, a basketball yes. team. So this is the thing. We have, we've had basketball since I've been there. I've been an athletic director for about six years now. Right. Right. So we do have it. But this gym is going to expose us to. You know, we don't get a lot of. We don't get a lot of publicity. Yeah. This year we had a kid. Another success story to be brief. We had another kid who was a senior this year. Scored a couple 40 point games. Oh, a couple. Yeah, more than, more than a couple. Yeah, a couple. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. so now we get a chance to get that exposure. You know, we'll have a home gym so people can actually come and, and see us now. Them. So wow. I, I, I don't know, but in closing, just come on over. Come yeah. on. We need to yes. bring them, bring them baby so we can have, like, we can, we can give them some opportunity and get them some exposure. I love yeah. it. Keep yeah. us posted what's Absolutely. going on and, and everything. And we'll make sure we share it through our platforms. And Absolutely. also, uh, what Mr. Kyle said, another thing um, that I love about Friere is that. You know, eventually they want Friere to be run by the students that went there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, Future CEO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can see and, that. Uh, just like he said, for, like another success story, another student. So the plan is for me and another student to, you know, be there when we're when we have time for co like during college and stuff to run the athletic uh, department throughout the weekends and stuff, so we can have open gym for our students. Yeah. Oh That's God, amazing. I love. It. I can't amazing. wait for the future. Yes. And one misconception, if I might just address Please. it, is that people think because we're a small school and that we've raised all this money that mm. there's tuition or that there's some Free. sort of enrollment requirements. This is a public school. Freire is a public school, so any and every student can come to Freire. Okay. That was our vision. College should be for any and every student, not just the extremely talented or the extremely mm -hmm. athletic. It's for every kid. And so I just really want to make that point. And it doesn't cost a dime right. to our families. Right. So How can they get more information about Freire? Um, well, you can always go to www.freirecharterschool.org. Mm -hmm. That'll give you the, the best. And we have an open house coming on April 29th at 11 a.m. And you okay. can register it for it there. And 8th and 9th graders in particular will be the best ones to apply. Excellent. Perfect. Thank you. Thank Love you. it. I know. I'm right telling y'all, y'all need to get us some. We need to get some trophies, <laughs> like Kate with superhero trophies. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. Thank you all for coming. Thank Thanks you for having us. Really, really, really a pleasure. Awesome.